Hello everyone, this is Clint with Gotta Get It Done where we talk about technology and productivity and uh, how we use technology and for productivity. Today I want to talk about one of the greatest features my iPhone has and that's Siri Shortcuts. Shortcuts was introduced in iOS 13 so it's been around for uh, a few years now and I use it heavily. Um, I think it's one of the great, uh, the greatest things the iPhone has, and there is absolutely nothing that Android has that's even remotely close. Android has a few things in there that they um, try to use to mimic it, but it's not even close, and I'll show you a couple uh, ones here uh, to explain that. But today I just want to show you ones that I actually use every single day. Uh, you're going to see a lot of shortcuts in my list here. However, um, most of those um, I don't use every single day, so we're going to concentrate on the ones I actually use every single day. They're uh, extremely efficient, make using your phone a lot easier once you get it set up. Um, so let's get started. Okay, here is my Shortcuts app um, with all my shortcuts. As you can see, I have quite a few, uh, but again, we're just going to concentrate today on uh, the ones that I use every single day. I'll show you how uh, base, they're basically set up. I'm not really going to do a tutorial on how to set up shortcuts. Uh, if you want a tutorial on how to set up certain shortcuts, let me know uh, in the comments, and I'll uh, see if I can make a video about doing that. Uh, but right now, I just want to talk about how useful it is and how I use uh, which ones I use every single day. Uh, so we're just going to go over here to the shortcuts menu, and you can put your shortcuts into folders. Uh, which I've done just to kind of, because I have so many of them, I have 48 of them right now. Uh, putting them in folders makes it easier for me to find them. Uh, of course, I can also do the, the search, but uh, we're going to start with uh, my home folder. So here I have uh, several uh, different ones that I have, uh, and the ones that I use almost every single day is uh, taking the Jeep, which makes is funny. I actually use this with the HomePod. And all that does is I could tell my home bot, hey, I'm taking the Jeep and it'll open the garage door for me and it'll be ready to go by the time I walk out into the garage. I use that every day. It uh, works pretty good. I really like it. Uh, another one I use every day is the good night action. Um, this particular action here uh, will ask me specifically if I need an alarm set. This would be a yes or no. Uh, I track my sleep um, in, a, in an app called Sleep Cycle. So... I like to track it even if I don't need an alarm to wake up. But if I do need an alarm to wake up, it's always at 4.30. Uh, so I can just say uh, yes, uh, start the alarm at 4.30. Uh, if I say no, uh, then it just does sleep analysis without an alarm. And then it starts my time tracker uh, for sleep and then sets my good night um, scene for the evening. So all my lights will shut off, the doors will lock, uh, and then everything's set up. And I'll just show you how quickly all those different things you can imagine. You have to go through a bunch of different apps. Uh, but if you just click the, the button, it'll say you need an alarm. You just hit yes or no. It opens the app, sets it for me, and then will shut everything off. Uh, so everything in my house is shutting off right now. Uh, and then uh, it'll be good to go. Really like that one. Uh, and then the opposite of that, of course, is uh, the wake up um, App. And what that one particularly does is it sets my good morning routine. It'll wait five seconds. Uh, then it gets me the current weather um, and then tells me the temperature uh, that it is currently. I uh, use this, uh, the, the weather is really more handy in the winter. Uh, so I know what to wear when I go to the gym um, if it's going to be, you know, eight degrees or uh, 20. And that's a big difference here in Colorado uh, 12, 12 degrees. Uh, so those ones in my home I use every day. The other ones I just use periodically. Uh, and then an another one I use a lot is uh, time, what I call uh, my time category. And uh, that's the one that I use for a lot of time tracking uh, to set up start things when I like go to work or when I'm done working or when I go to work out. Pretty much one I use every single day is uh, start workout. So when I get to the gym, I click this. Uh, and what it does is it uh, starts my workout timer on my uh, timer app, uh, sets my volume to the phone to 71%, uh, starts playing a specific um, playlist. And then it also will set my Apple Watch uh, to a different watch face. And then it'll ask me which workout am I doing at the time when I click the button, whether that's a lift, uh, whether I'm going to lift, 
I'll do a treadmill run or an outdoor run. And then if it's lift, it'll actually start the activity on my watch. Same thing for the run, same thing with the outdoor run. And then after it does all that, then it opens my uh, workout tracking app of choice, which is strong. Uh, and it does all that um, just all in the background. And I don't really have to do much at all. And it's just good to go from there. Uh, works out really good. Perfect. So yeah, so that, that one works really well. Um, I'm not going to hit it because it'll start playing music and we don't need that to happen, uh, on a YouTube video. Um, so then a, another one I use right after that is called done working out. And what that does is it stops my tracker and then sets my watch face back to, uh, the, the original one that I usually have during the day. So, uh, that one works, uh, pretty good. So I usually just say that. And the way I, I start these is usually in the morning, I'll hit the button on my, um, on my widget, uh, which I'll show here in a minute. Uh, and then when I'm done, as just as I'm walking out, I'll just uh, ask Siri to uh, do the done working out and then Siri will do that. So one nice thing about these, is why it's called Siri shortcuts because Siri can activate any one of these um, or you can just click the button, uh, which is what I do probably 50% of the time. I just click the button. Uh, then I have another one, uh, which is called I am working. I use this every day and what that, oh, crash sorry and just so you know i am on uh, ios 15 beta so uh, sometimes things get a little weird i've noticed on that but anyways let's get back to it. uh the i am working one which what this does is add um the the word work to my calendar on the exact date and time that i press the button then it starts my work timer um, and then that's that stops right there and then yeah, so that one is when I'm working. And then, of course, you know, COVID has uh, put us a lot at working at home. So there's a, a large percentage of time that I work at home. So I have a specific one for starting work at home. And what that does is that just sets a scene, uh, turns on to my accessories in my office, uh, basically my lights, turns on my lights from my office, then runs the sh uh, I am working shortcut. So you can run a shortcut within a shortcut, uh, within a shortcut if you wanted to. So uh, I use that one uh, pretty much every single day. And then I have another one here uh, that I use often, and that's to start the morning routine. There's uh, in the morning, when, one of the things that I like to do a lot is uh, take my phone into the shower with me and either listen to a podcast, um, a book of some kind. And this one makes it really easy. Um, it Again, uh, a timer, it starts a timer for me, and then it'll bring up a menu for me, whether uh, I want to listen to Audible or Libby if I'm reading or listening to a um, uh, library book or a podcast. Uh, and then, so then here it just says, if I click that, if I click audible, open audible, open Libby, open podcast, etc., uh, and then it ends and gives me a quick vibrate. So I know it happened uh, really quick and, uh, that works really, really good. All I gotta do is click that. It's going to ask me what I want to open. Um, let's do podcast. So I don't open anything I'm not supposed to. And then, uh, it just vibrated and you're, you're good to go and you're done. Uh, it's probably started my timer too, which I'll have to, I'll shut off here in a little bit. Um, so those are the, the ones here in this category that I use every single day, pretty much. Um, now let's go over to uh, health, uh, my health one here. Uh, there's a couple I use, uh, oops, sorry, getting all the podcast. No, go away. Um, these... Uh, two, uh, three of these I use pretty much every day. I, uh, I always keep track of when I take my vitamins. Um, man, I don't know why it's doing that. I tell you, I was 15. Uh, and all this does is just add, uh, a calendar event says took vitamins at the exact date and time that I press the button or I tell Siri to do it. And this one I actually, uh, trigger with an NFC tag that's, um, uh, stuck right onto my, uh, my pill bottle, my, where I keep all my vitamins at. And I usually just uh, tag that, which then runs this particular shortcut. Um, using NFC tags with shortcuts is uh, really, really cool. Um, I can make another video for those if, if uh, that's something people wanted to see. And then another one is uh, log my blood pressure. Uh, I try to keep track of my blood pressure often. Um, and so uh, this one's super simple too. You just hit it. You just uh, write on here what you, what you think it's going to be. Um, and then bottom number um 
and then logs it into the health app. Makes it It's a lot faster than actually going into the health app, going to the blood pressure area, hitting the plus button, then entering the information and saving it. I mean, it's that quick. You never even have to leave um, the app that you're in, actually, when you're doing that. And it's the same thing for um, the weight and body fat. I have uh, a scale that doesn't sync with uh, Apple Health, uh, but I still want everything health-wise in here. Um, so all I have to do is just click that. I type in the two, uh, the two things, the two things that I need, and it's done. And it logs it into the health app, and I'm out the door, and I don't think about it. Um, this makes it so much easier to keep track of that kind of stuff than either writing it in a notebook or remembering to do it or having your phone in your hand while you're doing it so you don't forget. Um, these work really, really good for me. I really like it. And then uh, the last category I'm going to show you guys is called productive. Um, and what this does here is, A, we go to um, it able to open uh, Google. So uh, this one really simple. Man. Um, is just gives me the uh, Hey Google. And then uh, I can open up my, um, I guess, uh, assistant on my iPhone and then talk to, talk to it directly right when it starts. Uh, and it works really good, too, for that because there's some of my home automations that I don't have in HomeKit. And there's just some things that just uh, work better with uh, Assistant that I use Assistant for a lot. And, of course, since I do use an Android phone a lot, I'm, I do use Assistant and I like to use Assistant. But you just click that or say it, actually. I usually just say it. And then it'll start picking up uh, what we're talking about here. And then it'll do whatever you need it to do. That works pretty good. I probably use that every day. Uh, and then uh, I have a note uh, that I call numbers um, in my notes app that I have to get into a lot, it seems like. Uh, and this just allows you to, there she is again. I don't know why it's going. It just uh, goes right to the folder numbers. And so you don't have to open the um the notes app go to your numbers folder it just takes you right to it and you can do it with uh, siri uh, and you can just uh, click the button i usually actually this one is one of the ones i do with siri a lot yeah so you just click this and it'll just go straight to the folder that you want it to which is my numbers folder as you can see right here uh, it works pretty good um, it makes it a lot faster than actually going through the notes app and the last one i want to show you uh, is my journal app um, I do a lot of, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's journaling, but I do do a lot of logging uh, of things because I like to know when things happen. Uh, and this one uh, right here, all it does is open my uh, journal app of choice, um, which I think is called uh, Your Diary, Your Day, sorry. I knew it was something like that. Uh, and uh, it just opens it up and allows me to start right away to... Um, uh, start my uh, journal or log or whatever entry. And I use that one with Siri uh, a lot also. Uh, so those are the ones I use every day, pretty much almost every single day. Um, and I'm telling you, they, they really make things a lot easier. And it's one thing I, I really miss when I'm using my um, my Android phone because uh, I literally have to open each uh, that just the workout one alone. I have to go in there and I have to open uh, five different apps um, just before I get started working out. Um, and it's so much easier when you just do it with, uh, shortcuts. Uh, one of the, I usually don't go in the shortcuts app very often. I usually do, um, uh, a widget here and I put, I stack different widgets on top of each other. So I can just go to my widget and, uh, click what I need to go and it just starts up and it works really good. Well, thanks everyone. That's what I wanted to show today on Series Shortcuts, uh, something I use uh, on a daily basis. And one of the main things that uh, keeps me owning an iPhone is uh, Shortcuts. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.